Robin Allegri <laughs> writes, hey guys, love the show. I try and watch every day when I get home. So my question is, why do bad movies sometimes do so well and good movies sometimes do so poorly? When Transformers 4 came out, it was not really good, but in the end, it still made over $1 billion. Then when good movies like The Hateful Eight and Room came out, they don't do very well, in my opinion. If a good movie doesn't always equal money, then why bother making good movies anymore? Well, because it's all subjective. I I, I agree with you. I think Transformers 4 is a piece, piece of crap. It's an abomination. Yes. Yeah. It's terrible. But not everyone felt that way, and that's fine. And so the, the, the people who liked it, they... You know, they voted with their 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 money, and they went to go see, it and they're going to make more and more of them. The thing is, is it's there's no formula. There's no 100 percent guaranteed it will work every time formula. So the the only thing studios can do is try and make the best movie possible, and then people will go see it. Because if they knew, let's say 100 percent of the time they made a, a a bad movie, people would still go see it. They wouldn't even try. They'd be like, screw it. Let's just you know put, turn on the camera. Yeah, yeah, you do that, right. and then. But but they don't. It's it's it's. I think one of the coolest things about movies is that everyone takes them differently, and so you you can't say, oh, uh, this has this director, this has this actor, this has this great screenwriter, this has all these great pieces. To, the movie could still suck, but then maybe the, the the audience loves it and they'll they'll still go see it. So it's all it's all a mystery. We can always like uh, theorize and project and all that stuff. It, it really comes down to what people actually like. Yeah, I mean, plus, I like to believe that occasionally humans can rise above our desire to just make a buck here and there and actually make something that's worthwhile. So sometimes if Michael Bay shows up to a Transformer set, he's just in it for the money. Those movies cost a lot of money to make, too, so they have to earn back a huge budget. But sometimes we like to just get together and make something that is really, really good and quality, and we don't really care about making money. Not everybody that lives in Southern California is in it just for the money. Money. Sometimes people have an artistic vision that is deep inside them and they need to express whether it's in the hateful eight or it's in room or it's anything else that comes out. Somebody had a desire to make some art that was worthwhile. Now, if it ended up being Transformers, that sucks. If it ended up being the Revenant, that's awesome. That's what you hope for. But sometimes people go in with more than just a desire to make money. And no one no one goes in hoping to make a crap movie. You know, that's not even Michael Bay. Yeah. You know, he, Regardless of what you think of his movies, and I'm one of the people who thinks that his movies stink. Minus 13 Hours, the last one was pretty good. I know you loved it. Well, okay. um, now, well, but but he thinks that he's, he's making, making a good movie. He well, what he wants to do, and he thinks he's funny. I don't. You don't. <laughs> no, but no. he does. And whatever you want to say about him, he's making movies to make movies. He's not going out there to get, the guy. Regardless of what you want to say about him, puts in 110. percent Oh yeah, he, every he's time. He's a hard worker. He is a hard worker. You just don't happen to like his style is another thing. He's not going, yeah, I don't care. He cares, and he just happens to care in a stinky way. Um, and, and But that's, that's one thing. So the other, <laughs> Your care the, smells bad. It's not thing. good the way you're caring. It just stinks like eggs. Um, no, Ooh, not you. You don't Bad care. Like but uh, anyway, so I think that there's other ways that you can – there's sometimes in movies like you look at um, Edge of Tomorrow, which was a movie that should have done tremendously because it was so good. But sometimes people just get hyped up for other things. Transformers was also the fourth movie in a franchise that also did well. Now, why did two do well when two was crap? Or why did three do well? You said it. There's there's no rhyme or reason. It yeah. just it, it happens. It catches on. Sometimes it does. Sometimes it doesn't. And marketing and math. You know, just in, some things just appeal to more people than others. You know, like yeah. something like the room is never going to. No matter how good it is, and we're not talking about Tommy Wiseau's The Room, right? But uh, the one with Brie mm -hmm. Larson. That's never ever going to be a big budget blockbuster it's, just, right. it's it's not you know but if you throw in something that's like has a, a hook or appeal or maybe it's based on a, a book franchise or comic books people are going to be interested i think studios are well aware that they're making crap sometimes but i think even like the studio knew when they made the choice that yeah we're going to try to get some bucks for valentine's day this is going to be a pile of garbage but i bet the cast and crew who showed up on day one of the choice they all threw their hands and they're like all right oscars on three everybody <laughs> because they believe it that's good you should have dreams you mean razzies on three that's <laughs> <laughs> hey guys, if you like this clip, click here to watch the entire episode. Also, make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel because it'll help you stay up to date with all the stuff we've got going on here at Collider.